Caitlin, gonna, what are we going to make today? We're going to make a microscope. And how are we going to make it? Um, we're going to make yeah. it out of some old lenses from an old broken camera and a laser pointer that we've got. And then we've got some perspex. How did I cut the perspex, Caitlin? Um, he used uh, his special knife. Don't get it out. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So we that. scored it and then we put it against that the flat surface there. over there. And snapped it. That's how we make easy cuts in perspex. We've got Henry's come to help. Yep, yeah, it is our pet cat. Yeah. I love you, Henry. He so, so good kitty in the world. We've got some M6 stud bar and we've got some nuts and bolts. £3.50 from Wilco for a huge selection. And we've put, cut some wood and we're going to create a microscope that can see into the world of the tiny. I've got a lens, one of the lenses, to make our microscope. We're going to drill all our, our lenses here, biggest and smallest. So we're going to put stuff on there. And we're going to peel the things Specimen off, tray. and we'll be able to yeah. see things through the lens. Yeah, and the lens will be mounted here, and then the camera will go down and peer through the lenses so we can see yeah. things. Yeah, and we have got this lovely torch to put just on the wood down here. Put the torch on. So we're going to turn the torch on. Just under here, so we can see things properly. So That's we can right. move it around, the great torch, in there. There we go. We can look for it. Can we show how we made this microscope? Yes, we can. So let's first of all turn it over. We yeah. cut a piece of wood and then we put some bolts. We got some bolts cut to the right length and we put some nuts, but we had to count a sink bead. So you drill one hole through the size of this stud bar, right? And then you get a bigger drill and count the sink the holes for there. So it all sits flat. There we go. There we go. Uh, then and we then put a, another screw and washers on so it didn't hurt the wood. And you tightened them up, didn't you? Yes, I did. And then, of course, we, we did this bit. And then we yep. put some washers. We put some Do you remember what we call these before? What wing, we call? Nuts. wing nuts. Wing nuts. We put some wing nuts there. Then we put this on, then we put some other very big washers on, so we put two more wing nuts on, put some wing nuts on here then. And why did we put then. wing nuts? Because we might want to do something, mightn't we? Yes. We might want to change the height of everything. Yes. So, so we, we can, can change the height to get the focus when so we go for the microscope. Because different lenses work differently, don't they? And where do we get all these wonderful lenses? was taking apart some laser pointers and um, what were you watching? An old broken camera. Yes. Um, this is from a toy. This is from an old camera. Very good. This one. Let's have a look at this then. Well, let's put it through. Ready? There it goes. And look. We can see Whoa. the grains. That's really good. This is the... I think this is the best lens. Well, it's the best quality one, though. Yeah? yeah. Can we see the grains of wood? Yeah, we can. There we go. It allows us to focus right in. Yeah. And we've got some... We've got this lens. This is quite an interesting lens. This is from an old camera's viewfinder. And the trouble with small lenses is they're quite hot. Oh, look at that one. Can you see? That's even yeah. more magnification. We can see the... And let's see it on the wood. Look at that. Amazing stuff. Oh, bring it out a bit. There we go. Look, put it there. Yeah, we can see into your eye. Yeah. Laser pointer one. Yes, that's the laser point one. That tiny one there. That's very high magnification. Wow, look at that. You can see things huge. And really close.
clear. Okay, so the le we're going to drill different holes here and specially mount the lenses so when we put the phone on there, we can look through and we can take video of small things. Okay, so now we've got to get Daddy's big drill. So, use woodworking drill bits. Um, get the right size, measure it against the lens. Be careful as you drill, light pressure, and you should get through. If you haven't got a big enough drill bit, I used a um, drum sanding attachment, very cheap, there's a little picture of one in the corner there, and that helps you expand it. You can use a little coin drawer around it to get the right size and then sand that out to be the right size. Then use a bit of hot glue, do not use super glues because that can damage lenses, but a little bit of hot glue to fix it in place. Make sure it's flush with the surface so that when you put your camera phone on the top, it'll sit right on there and then you can adjust to see at what height, I use my finger here, what you get focus. If we are, if we can, um, my, my stepmother and me are going to get a water sample and try and put it on here and here, here and see if we can see anything with, the, with our best lenses. So here we are putting the camera down flat and finding the lens, then we can adjust the sample tray to find focus. Okay, Caitlin. What, what are those things? What are those things there? That's algae. It's amazing every step that you know how you make. It wobbles. Look, just stop still. All right. I'll take one of these. Isn't that amazing? That's amazing. It's so sense. It's so magnified, right? It, Whoa! Yeah. Don't, don't, don't lean on the table. Right, and I'll try and move it, right? So we, when we get some proper... Whoa, look at that all that stuff! That's all algae, right? That is so cool, I love water samples. Water samples are so cool. Well, we'll get some pond water where we've actually got some little creatures in there, yeah? Yeah, we don't see any, like, moving little creatures that look like centipedes or something like mm. that. You want some? Whoa, Mummy, I have to see this. You literally have Mommy, don't knock to it. see Don't knock me. Wow. Can you see his eyes? Yeah. No, because he's amazing. You can see his eyes. Here, yeah. here, here. Sit very carefully. Don't touch it. You can see better. Here we go. Wow. Mm. I bet you were, Dad. Is it? Is he trembling? No, he's washing. His, he's moving his little mandible. Mm. Is he actually washing himself at the time yeah. like this? Probably. Yeah. Well, I think he's lovely. Whoa, 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 you had to see this part. Just did Daddy keep that exactly there? Wonderful. Yeah. When Daddy's finished with the spider, we might just have enough time to put the um, leaf. You know, the um, nettle underneath. Ooh! I've got a spider underneath. I know. He's so amazing. I love him. Do you love him? Oh. Mm, I wish I could keep him as a pet and feed mm, him. No. no, we can't keep spiders. No. I know. Because he needs to go outside. And Here's a little dandelion seed. You can see the seed head in green and the white hairs that catch the wind and let them blow all around for children. And what a fascinating sight we saw when we actually looked at the seed head. Amazing. Then we can see this this other strange seed. Don't know what it is. Have to find out. Look at that surface. Isn't it interesting? Here's a nettle leaf. We can see its structure. And Caitlin wanted to see the sting of the nettle. And as we zoom in, we can really see the little stinger, or trichome as it's known, which is a little hair. And not only does that sting have some nasty toxins on it, but it also, it's, it's mechanical, it, it sticks in, it irritates, it breaks inside the skin. And that's what makes them really itchy. And of course, wants to keep animals away from them. We had lots of fun making our microscope. And now you can go off and make a microscope and have enormous fun learning about the tiny worlds that surround us. Well, that was great. 
we saw right into the little world. Now, these are fascinating little projects for children, really good in these days of COVID lockdown, teaching my daughter lots about science. And it used, cost virtually nothing, you know, 10 quid for all the materials you'd get away with. I had an old camera that I could smash up and get the lenses from. It was rubbish, it was worth nothing. I also had an old laser pointer I confiscated off Katie's elder brother. Um, and I got the little lens out. Now, apparently, you can stick two of those together. You might even be able to see down to cellular level. Quality's a bit iffy, but, but putting all those together, creating a little system, creates a beautiful, and of course, modern smartphones, you know, they don't have to be expensive. This is a, a little Poco phone F1, 200 quid when I bought it. I mean, you can buy one second hand for 50 quid now. And the, the, the cameras are fantastic and you can do so much with them. And I've taken slow motion pictures of insects and flowers flying around, all kinds of things. You can get all kinds of things. I've got this little macro lens you can fit on them. You know, they're only a few quid. So it gives you some ideas of what you can do exploring the natural world, learning and getting some amazing shots. So have fun. Get building, enjoy.